go sit with my huge pile of laundry. How about that? That's a great background, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Hi, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I am a senior at UC Berkeley. I'm also a transfer student and I study anthropology and archaeology. Um, today I thought I would do a day in my life. It's currently the second week of school. My morning class was canceled so I don't have class until 3 p.m. this afternoon. However, I am having a little bit of a hard time getting started today. I wanted to get the pretty aesthetic footage that I usually do for the opening of this video, but my apartment's in a little bit of a state of disarray because yesterday was kind of like a doing my chores kind of day, which meant that I have to like move my coffee table so I could air out my futon, do all of my laundry. But of course, I haven't put away any of my laundry. I haven't put the house back in order, so it's a little messy. Let me show you. Got laundry, laundry, puzzles, more laundry. <laughs> Um, that's my mess from last night, and then we also have more laundry. And then my coffee table's here because I it's usually right there, but I had my futon airing out because you have to air them out every week or so. On top of the fact that my house is kind of a mess and I'm breaking out in zits, I'm also struggling a little bit today with anxiety and my ADHD. I'm feeling incredibly overwhelmed, and it's kind of a hard feeling to describe if you don't have ADHD. It can be very, very difficult to understand, but... Essentially, it's not, wow, I have so much to do and therefore I am overwhelmed. It's, I don't even know how to organize thinking about the things that I have to do. I know that I have a lot to do, but I don't know exactly what it is I have to do, how it is I have to do it, and that... I think is where a lot of the anxiety comes from because it can be really hard to feel capable of doing anything when your brain can't organize itself around those tasks, um, which then I find leads to what a lot of people call like ADHD paralysis, sitting in the same spot for a couple of hours because you just feel too overwhelmed to even get up. And so I've been laying in bed since 7.30. It's probably almost 10 o'clock now at this point. I think my meds finally kicked in, which helped me get out of bed. I think I'm going to try my best to give myself space and patience today and treat myself kindly. And that starts with getting dressed and eating something because I have to go to the library. Just trying to get some work done, trying to do my readings for my class this afternoon, go to class. And then I'll be home, so it's gonna be a relatively low-key day, but I want to take you with me. And once I'm dressed and looking a little bit nicer, I actually have something really cool to share. Your girl got her first ever sponsored item, like sponsored product and it kind of goes with the theme of anxiety and ADHD, so I'm gonna share this with you guys after I get dressed and have something to eat, and I'm so excited about it, so I can't wait to share that with you, but I need to start getting on with my day, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> gotten dressed, eaten my breakfast, I'm doing some readings for my class. I'm actually feeling a lot better, a lot more level-headed, and I know that I actually have a lot of things to do, and I'm behind on them at the moment. Like, there's a YouTube video that was supposed to be finished last night to go up today at about eight minutes ago, but letting that go, I'm gonna try and get it finished to go up this afternoon. But now that I'm feeling better, more calm, more centered, it's time to share the product I was sent. Let me go get it. So I was sent an item called Calm Strips. Calm Strips are a sensory adhesive. So it's a little strip where one side of it is adhesive, the other side of it is a textured strip that you can like rub and touch. It was crafted to help soothe anxiety, but I hope that it's also going to be good for stimming. Stimming is something that all humans do. Um, it helps us soothe ourselves, it helps us ground ourselves, it helps us express emotions. It can be as little as rubbing your ring or it can be as big as dancing around and jumping up and down. So I thought that calm strips would be a fantastic option and resource for college students and you know my demographic um, and especially for me because I love fidget toys and I really like having fidget toys with me in class because they help me focus. However, most of my fidget toys are kind of big and kind of noisy so I thought that this would be a great 
option for me and I'm gonna stick one on my planner I'm gonna stick one on my phone and I want to share it with you guys since I thought it was just like an awesome product to like make for students who struggle with anxiety and ADHD or autism and all those things so let's open it let's see what do we have here we have one two three four packs they sent me four packs that is incredibly generous. Thank you guys so much. Um, let's see. Let's just let's just open them. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's so sweet. Okay, so they actually make little keychain tags that you can put the adhesive on so that you can have it on your keychain. That is so oh my okay, I have to go get my keys. Okay, I'm actually really excited about this and I'm in a much better mood now. I'm very excited about this. Okay, so that's what was in that one. Let's open the blue one. Ooh, so we have a pack of five of these guys. These feel like, um, you know like how the bottom of some Tupperware kind of has that texture on it? That's what these ones feel like. Got five of these. These ones are more bumpy than the last one. They kind of remind me of like textured leather. They're little peacocks. That's so cute! We got a pack of five of those as well. Mm, I think they're the same as these ones, but they're a different shape. There we go! And now we have a very, very low-key sensory fidget toy, or fidget tool, sensory stim, whatever you want to call it. Again, these were sent to me as a gift, so I super, super appreciate that. I'm putting one on my water bottle right now as we speak. Thank you again, Calm Strips. If you guys want to check these guys out, I will leave a link to them in my description. But now, it's 10.30, I'm gonna go ahead and head to campus, I'm going to do my reading, I'm just, I need to get out of my apartment, I need to change locations, be in a library, so I'm gonna go and get my studying done. I'm gonna work on my YouTube video, and that's it for the day. drive me home but she has a what is it a fiat spider a fiat spider um because i have really cool friends <laughs> but we just got out of class it was awesome jenny and i were both talking about the fact that we both had a moment in class where we were like oh god we're berkeley students <laughs> for me it was more of like a, like huh, oh god i'm not smart enough for this um hopefully yours was a little bit better yeah i was like this is an awesome way to spend my day. Yeah. <laughs> so now driving home in a cute little convertible. <laughs> Headed home and then I'm actually gonna go back to campus and catch the Burke bus um, this evening. I'm gonna go home for the night. Um, spend time with, spend some time with James. He had a rough day. <laughs> okay, but anyways, I'll see you guys back at the apartment.
not Friday, it's Thursday, August, September 2nd. <laughs> Clearly I know what day it is. Um, I was looking through my footage that I recorded on, it must have been Tuesday, and decided that I didn't do a very good job of filming and I don't think I got enough footage. And my whole day was a little discombobulated because I went home that night back to Davis. So I thought I'd pick up the camera again today, although I am having another hard ADHD day. Uh, it took me a long time to get out of bed and my morning class was canceled so there was no sense of urgency this morning to get, to get me going. And I left my meds at my mom's house, so I am having to cope on my own at the moment. But I got up and I've just been kind of doing some chores around the house. It doesn't really look like I made a lot of progress, but the majority of my clothes are put away now. I have a class today from 3.30 to 5. It's currently 12.30. I haven't done the readings for that class yet, so I thought that I would make myself some lunch or maybe buy lunch. I haven't decided. Head to campus, take you guys with me, and do my studying there. It's only four pages of reading, so it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. When I get back home, I need to pack up a bag because I'm going back to Davis tomorrow for the long weekend since we don't have classes on Monday as it's Labor Day. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I'm going to change my outfit, put on a little bit of makeup, and get headed to campus. All right, see you guys soon. Okay, I am properly dressed. Going a little masculine today. I've got my mask. I've got my backpack. I've got my fiance. Hey! And I ordered myself some Poke Parlor to pick up on my way to campus because I didn't feel like eating the food I have in my apartment. And I'm gonna go pick it up now. I'm gonna switch to vlogging on my phone because I'm still not comfortable vlogging on campus. And I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> sitting here doing my readings I just had to say I have no clue what this guy is talking about and um, when it comes to being a student anywhere but especially as I'm aware of how I may come across being somebody who talks openly about my grades and my GPA and being at Berkeley which is you know top public university I just have to say um, your ability to succeed as a student is much less about inherent intelligence and much more about a willingness to learn and be wrong about things and have absolutely zero idea what somebody is trying to say but having the persistence and perseverance to figure it out talk to your colleagues talk to your cohort talk to your professors and try to figure it out because it's hard sometimes these people do not write for the public at all times so trying to break it down is kind of hard. And I just wanted to share that because I know that I may come across a certain way whenever I talk about my GPA and that kind of stuff. So I have no clue what's going on in this article and I'm sure I'll find out during class, but yeah, I just had to say that. So hopefully, if you guys were watching, you saw I was just at the library. I've been trying to take time to explore campus and find the places on campus I really want to study at. And the inside of Doe Library is absolutely gorgeous. So I spent some time there and now I'm headed to my class. Then I'm going to maybe go back to the library to study more, maybe go home. We'll see how I'm feeling afterwards. But I'm also trying to get more comfortable with actually vlogging on campus. So. I'm practicing. <laughs> okay, hello, it's six o'clock. I stopped vlogging while I was on campus, to be quite frank, because I forgot. Um, I ran into a friend and then some like acquaintances, so I sat with them in the library to try and socialize more and make friends. 
So that's what I did before class started. Then we had class we were talking about, specifically like some case examples of museum exhibits that have gone very wrong and a museum exhibit that went very right, specifically when talking about things that are very racially charged, including things like slavery and colonialism. And so today we continued talking about that and we also started talking a little bit about the history of museums and where anthropology museums fit into that history. It is a long weekend. I'm gonna go back home to my mom's house. And so tonight I need to pack up a bag and then I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night. I'm not gonna worry about doing schoolwork. My plan for tonight is to play with my puzzle, which is staring at me and watch a little bit of TV. And that's what I'll be doing. as a Berkeley student studying anthropology. I'm gonna go to bed, it's like midnight, and I'm gonna go home to my mom's house tomorrow, so I gotta be up early. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video and you wanna stay tuned for more UC Berkeley vintage admissions, archeology span related content, go ahead and give me a subscribe. Don't forget to like the video and leave me a comment. Tell me what your favorite place on your college campus is. Uh, I have found a couple of now thanks to my exploring on campus. Don't forget to check out the links for com strips, and I will see you guys in the next video. Good night.